Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. They titled it, Michael Admits to Cheating on Angela. It's another tell-all episode. In the last one, we found out that No Neck Ed was cheating on his bitch. This is what the tell-all should always be. Somebody should always be cheating. And it's a 90-day fiancé, so somebody's always cheating. It's too easy not to. You're not even in the same area code. The first frame is of uh, Angela crying, which is hilarious. I wonder if we're going to see actual tears this time. Probably not. Now, is this after the one we talked shit about where she walked in talking shit to everybody and then left? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a video somewhere that I posted. Oh, I see they called it on this episode of 90 Day Fiance Tell All No Limits. Maybe you guys should get a host that maybe pushes the limit a little bit. Somebody that toes the line. Well, Tad, huh? So let's just hop right into this shit. But before I do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. You guys truly help make this shit possible because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so pissed off. Like, I don't get why swears are bad. They're words. They're very good describing words. I use them often. And I've never met a person who doesn't swear. And I would also never censor myself for money that goes against everything I believe in. So if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But let's see if I'm worth it. <laughs> hmm, covering your eyes so we can't see that you're not actually crying. Oh my God, the cheater. The cheater, yeah, which one are you talking about? <laughs> There's so many in the room. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here grow up what are you crying about i don't care if he cheated on you she's acting like she just saw her mother get hit by a car like she's just cannot fucking believe and, and what's with like the little hyperventilating a little <laughs> that's not gonna make us believe you angela maybe that dude in canada you're talking to can comfort you Andy, it's okay please <laughs> It's really wrong. Me, I'm shocked. What I bet Michael, you know, like, all I was saying is that I know you are not on social media. Why? He said he, his wife did not want that, and that's why he offed up. You're shocked that Michael cheated on Angela? Dude, you want a second wife. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Can somebody give me a reason why you shouldn't cheat on Angela, aside from it being morally wrong? And that might even be a stretch. But I now see the reason why she don't want him to be on social media. It's okay, please. It's okay, please. What's okay? <laughs> Dude, your whole relationship is crumbling in front of all of us. It's okay. I deal with this all the time with all my women. I know how bitches act. Is he hearing the voice? Is that a new piercing right there? Is that called the Monroe piercing? Yo, that is the most white trash piercing ever. The one that comes second to it is an eyebrow piercing, far more common. But you're 60 and you just got that? I have not noticed that before. That is so ugly. I hate that piercing. That would actually make me stop talking to a girl. Like I'd see that and be like, whoa, you really are a gutter bitch, huh? You do that yourself? The voice note. And I was over there and he was in my bed when he did that when I go downstairs. I found out that he was doing this the whole time I was, when we made up, he knew what he was doing. You see that little smirk from Ed? Because I think he just loves seeing somebody else get caught cheating. It's got to feel good. It's like seeing your homie get yelled at by the teacher. And also, by the way, she shouldn't be this sad about it when she went to Africa to catch him cheating. And she did. How are you so distraught by something you expected? Angie, Angie, it's okay, please. It's not okay, Michael. You're a lying son of a bitch. I've protected you for four years, and I know you do stupid but when you do that right there, there's no way you could love me when you're telling another bitch you love them when I'm in the bed with you. Yeah, I can't believe you actually thought he loved you. That's crazy. <laughs> what world are you living in? You don't deserve love. Also, look, no tears. It's weird how that happens, you know? Every time I've cried, there's been tears, which makes it crying. I watch a lot of police interrogations, and that is about the first thing they bring up to a suspect. They're like, uh, I haven't seen any tears at all today. I've heard it. I haven't seen them. Where's the body? 
You don't Angie. want me to believe you love me? Don't Angie, it's okay, please. Can you stop saying it's okay? <laughs> You're not diffusing the situation. Because even though it is Angela, it's still not okay. Not like an I'm sorry. It's okay, bitch. Jesus Christ, you always do this. Please. Why do you keep saying it's okay, though? Is that really okay? Should I let that play out for a second longer? Wow, good point, Kimberly. She should be the fucking tell-all host. The host ain't saying shit. Not one thing to stoke this fire. And they're paying her? TLC, however much you're paying her, pay me less, I'll do it. Take that wage gap. You don't say okay, bro. You say sorry. That is why you should come out from your mouth. Not okay. I promise you, I do not watch these before I talk shit about them. Even though I said exactly what they just said, it should be obviously common knowledge that that's the route you should take, unless you're the person who's being accused of it. Only the person in the wrong would say it's okay over and over. Michael does a lot of things, but I never thought he would cheat on me. I swear to God, never, ever. Whether he had sex or not, you told another woman you love him. You never thought he would cheat? Bitch, there is an entire episode how you went to Africa to prove he was cheating. This is all fake. This, none of this is real. I believe that TLC made this one up. I think No Neck Ed cheated and was talking to Rose. I don't think this is true. I'm sure they gave her a nice little bag for this. She made some money. Come on, fake cry on camera, bitch. <sighs> kind of disappointed now. You're disappointed? Dude, you look like you've cheated on every girl you've ever met. We don't need you chiming in, buddy. Why are you disappointed? You don't even fucking know the guy. Man, I just am so disappointed he couldn't commit to Angela. In what world? Michael, was that you on the voice message, yes or no? What a stupid fucking question. A better question would have been, why do you keep saying it's okay? Is it your voice? Bitch, we heard it. It's his voice. Michael, is this a picture of your penis with your face in it? Yeah, that was me on the voice message, uh, the voice notes. The voice note? What do you mean by that? I'm picking this apart because, like, how did Angela, we talked about this a little bit when he got caught the first time, how did Angela get the voice message he sent to a woman? And he just corrected himself saying it's a voice note. So I have come to the conclusion that he made that in a voice note and sent it to Angela for the TV show. There's really no other possibility. Because if you send it in a voice message, she has to have complete access to your Instagram to see it. And I guess the other possibility would be the woman telling on him. But I feel like they would interview her if she existed. Michael, who were you talking to? TLC, is this not proving that I should be the host of this fucking show? It's like I'd be better in every single way. And I heard she's 60, looks great, black don't crack, but I'm probably gonna outlive her, okay? Just say You can't put her in a 30-year contract. Okay, there's this random uh, lady. She's a whore. All, all this, all this, I, I know I admitted my wrong. She's a fucking whore? Whoa, calm down, Angela. What is her Instagram name? I need to interview her about this situation. I want to know if she's hot. Also, I am not condoning this, but have any of you guys ever tried to talk to one of these people? On one of the other shows, I know somebody who did successfully talk to somebody on the TV show and FaceTime them and everything. I, I think it's way more simple than you guys think. Like, if you're a chick and look anything better than Angela or Kimberly, you could be on TV like that. You could be the person he sent the voice message to. You might feel bad, but that's also a great story to tell. I cost it all, you know? But for the fact that I, I did this, I still, I love my wife and nobody can come like, uh, in between us. Yeah, nobody can come in between you guys, but you can definitely come in between a new girl. This just seems fake. Doesn't seem like he's actually cheating. Doesn't say her name, says it's some random chick. So did he not meet her? Did he not fuck this chick? He just said he loved her? That's it. I mean, if I had a significant other and they cut, told somebody else they loved them, I'd be like, go fuck yourself. But I seriously do not think this was real. Like the no neck ad one seemed very real. I got the real vibe from it. But this, it's like he, it didn't actually happen. You know, just Angela act super pissed. You're really good at it. And Michael do nothing. He did nothing. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. You saying that is boring. Deny it or something. Make some good television. Call her a bitch. This is your fault. You always bring this up. That's what No Neck Ed did to Liz. He's like, ah, oh, you always do this, talking about me cheating, you're crazy. I'm not cheating, you're cheating. Even though Angela is also cheating. She was talking to some fucking hunk on TikTok. Somebody commented saying that the guy on TikTok is not better looking than Michael. I'm not gay, 
but objectively, that dude is far superior to Michael. Michael still has baby fat. All right, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Was that shit real? No way. So thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Did you know I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Markarski? I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like in the series, I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. And I think people might be interested what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Mark Harsky. If you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.